450 million cups of coffee are consumed every day in the United States. Most people consume their caffeine through coffee. However, teas, sodas, and chocolates are also large components of caffeine. The average person drinks two cups of coffee per day. The average coffee drinker woman spends 2,327 per year at coffee shops, while the average man spends 1,934, more than most people save towards retirement. To get a little insight, I want to talk to a friend that works at a coffee shop. Uh, when somebody comes in and orders a coffee, how often do you think somebody spends extra amount just because they're there and they've already bought the coffee, they're getting a biscuit or a bagel or a donut or whatever? The behaviors change really tremendously based on whether or not the visit is routine or that person's on vacation. Mm -hmm. um, so people on vacation actually do a lot of that, adding like one thing after the other. But people that are regulars that come in every day at the same exact time every day and get the same thing every day, they're not doing that. The behavior is really not happening so much with them. In one study, it says when calories are consumed as liquids, people may not subsequently compensate their energy intake, resulting in extra consumption energy. Second, the prompt drop in blood sugar that follows the insulin response to intake of foods or beverages high in sugar, such as SSBs, increases hunger and may increase food intake. So yeah, there are people that come in and just get a regular coffee and their, their orders are calorically very insignificant, but then it gets really wild when addiction that they're satiating shifts from caffeine to sugar. I have customers that order like 800 calorie drinks and then there are people that go beyond whole milk and they'll have me make their drink with heavy cream, like mm. the kind of stuff you make Alfredo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks ago, I noticed something sharp stabbing into my tongue. So I addressed it and I picked at it and tried to clean the area and figure out what it was. And it was actually a piece of my tooth that eventually broke off. And I noticed that my gums weren't doing very well either. And I figured it's most likely due to my high soda intake and possibly as well candy. So I decided something has to be done about this. I didn't want to lose my teeth. I don't want to lose my teeth. After I decided to quit, I went online to gas up my drive and find out all these horrible things about caffeine. And to my surprise, I found an incredible list of benefits and I was wondering, why am I doing this? Is this even the right thing to do? I was confused because I thought caffeine was bad for you, but apparently it's not that simple. When you first look at caffeine, it wouldn't be ridiculous to think of it as a godsend, a miracle drug of sorts. So I wondered, why am I doing this? Is this even worth it? It seems like I'm giving up so many benefits and all these articles are saying it's so great. And it is, it's fantastic. Caffeine is a wonderful thing. Until you dig deeper and you find out it's a little more complicated. And there's a lot of biased articles out there just completely omitting the negatives of caffeine. When looking at all the incredible benefits of caffeine, it's really easy to ignore. There is far more adverse effects than there are benefits. The list shown is too long to ignore. It's important to realize not all of these are detrimental. However, that does not mean that they're not common or harmful. Caffeine is an actual drug. It's not just a stimulant. It has real side effects and real health concerns. Caffeine is bad for you like other drugs, and that's a fact, but it's also good for you. It's a weird conundrum. If you're for caffeine or against it, you're right. And this is mainly because the highs aren't super high and the lows are pretty shallow. So it's kind of this very, very entry level drug. The dependency and the addiction part is very serious, however, and that's what really kept me going to quit caffeine. When I quit, I definitely had withdrawals. For about two and a half to three days, I had a splitting migraine. I was kind of cranky and very unproductive. After the veil of withdrawals lifted, I felt myself with far more energy. My energy was super stable. I cannot express how smooth it went throughout the day. I did not crash, I did not nap, nothing of the sorts. I had no dependency that was completely gone. My productivity went up. I accomplished things more in every single day since then than I had in a week, especially sitting around with tons of time. My sleep improved, which is really interesting. I thought it was fine before. 
Lastly, I have no scientific way to prove this, but I feel like my brain got a little bit smarter. I was a little bit quicker, I could form solutions faster, and I was a little bit wittier around other people. As far as I'm concerned, those benefits I just listed outweigh all of the benefits of caffeine in general. So do I recommend you quitting? So yes and no. See, remember what I was saying about caffeine being a weird drug? See, it is, and that's the thing, is there's a lot of different variables, whether it's genetics, your tolerance level, your diet, your weight, um, your, your history of caffeine and how you've adapted, are you fit and you work out, these things come into play. Now, I will have caffeine in the future. I don't think that it's reasonable or worth it to quit caffeine forever. I think it should be used sparingly. I feel like if you can omit the dependency on the caffeine, you should be in a good place. It's the relying on something to perform well, I think is really, really detrimental to your daily living in general. So a cup of coffee a day, sure, that's fine. But if one day you realize you can't get your cup of coffee and it's making you angry or upset or unsettled, maybe that's a sign that you need to take a break and regain control. Lastly, if you've quit caffeine or coffee or anything like that, I'd love to hear what you found for you. I'm curious what other people's stories are. If I've missed something, let me know. Um, and yeah, I hope you like this video. Like it, of course, subscribe for more of these videos. I'm going to tr really try to amp up the production. And if you wanna share this, that'd be awesome. I'd really appreciate that. And until next time, guys, peace.